Chris took an immediate and deep dislike to the skinny red rat turtle. Who the hell did this Thomas think he was? Ne He's just a little guy! Chris had been doing fine. He wasn't the highest jumper, but he'd held his own. He'd even been graceful at times. Well, not actually. Not technically graceful. It's probably, probably the wrong word, but you know, fine. There was that skinny little runt leaping about like he owned the place. It's good. We've invented artificial intelligence, and the first emotion we've given them is jealousy. Great. Hey, buddy. Ten years ago, right? Like 13-ish? I don't know. I don't think it matters, really. Good things stand on their own two feet, and the building blocks must be respected for what they were. The giants upon whose shoulders we stand. Okay. This is more like it. A glowy white thing. Only Chris could get to it. Which, of course, made it all the more enticing. What would it do? What new opportunity might this stretch open up to us? Grace, Grace. Another chance for Thomas to jump slightly higher than Chris. <laughs> slightly higher. This made the whole switch pressing thing entirely worthwhile. Good? Because on the surface, it did not seem good. Chris was pretty scared. Little Red seemed fine, happy to be on his merry little adventure. Chris couldn't shake the feeling that things had taken a significant turn for the worse since Thomas had joined him. We don't have that perspective, buddy. Sure, he'd been able to piggyback his way to ever so slightly higher platforms, but so that got him. Well, to ever so slightly higher platforms, which is still a good point. I do admire that the story is getting right to the goddamn point. Unlike some stories, and I'm looking at you, Wanny Gator. God, that game is just taking its time. Pure hatred. He seemed so very happy at their situation. Friends together, a brave fellowship of quadrilaterals on a quest for greatness. Man, Lord of the Rings is weird. But it was all the obvious observation that Thomas was doing which grated. Every time they observation. saw something vaguely new, Chris would hear a satisfied little hmm from the vaulting idiot. He hoped the next portal would split them up. If only for a few levels. I mean, when this is all you have, you kind of have to assign actual character traits, I guess! I'm happy. No! It's it's the past me. Gone forever. Oh. Little sneaky bastard. <laughs> Character dynamics. And they're not necessarily holy ooh. We got a long boy. his exceptional skills. As it was, he was trapped on the wrong side of these little dot things. I like the idea. John wants to be big from, anyway. big and spectacular. Christopher's happy being in places and having things to himself. Tom wants to see things so that he can share them with others. Character traits. None of, like, like I said, like when all you have is shapes, you have to define the characters. Oh, I noticed there's a little rainbow bar at the bottom. That's how you get him. Oh, look, we got we got we got the long boys today. Oh no, there's orange. <laughs> John inhaled the air of the open space, and it smelled of awesome. Time to flex those muscles to 
put his training to use time to show those little dots how it was done. He can't jump, by the way. I think. Oh, he can. Oh, he has got a jump. Idiot. Sir, Christopher, Mr. Columbus, please. John decided to press the switch to let the little dots catch up with him. John cared of Nyala. Because you like showing off. You could tell from the sympathetic expression he practiced in the mirror all these years. <laughs> oh, he's such a goober. No, well, it was a bit, bit of a bitch to get going. little endeavor. Is he the middle finger in this relationship? I wish I knew. care about his image. does it in one single bound too. It's like he doesn't even need the help. He doesn't even need the implication of help. I get the hang of it. You get the hang of it. He didn't mind them so much either. The red one, Thomas, had a charming way of applauding every time John jumped. You know what this is? This is the story that's supposed to be told. Like, this is this is what happens when you take a game and you take all the cutscenes out. <laughs> no! Boink. Hoinkus boinkus, your dick is now sproinkus. Now there's a real magical spell. I don't want to jump over there. angry orange one was less immediately likable, but his unremitting cynicism and tutting amused John. <laughs> He's so fast. He's got the newmies, baby. This was interesting. A floating target. This would require coordination, balance, and timing. John was sure the dots would be lost, but he was happy to guide them to triumph. Maybe that 
that's what the docks were for. They were there to extend John's reach to make his performance even more impressive. God, he's just stuck up in his head, eh? He decided to keep them. <laughs> Music!